Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on computer networks. Today's topic of discussion is on fragmentation. In my previous video lecture, I have explained the different fields in IPv4 header format and out of those total number of fields that are there in the IPv4 header format, if you remember the second row in the packet format, you had the very first field as the identification, then flags and offset, flag fragmentation offset. So related to this, that means these three fields are related to fragmentation and today I will be explaining the significance of each of these fields in the IPv4 header format and with an example. So let us start this particular concept of fragmentation. So first and foremost thing we should know is why do we carry out this fragmentation? When a packet is forwarded from the source to the destination, okay, it crosses different networks and it reaches the destination. So when it is crossing different networks, each of the network has a capacity to accept a packet size, to accept a packet of a particular size. So what type of network is there in between the source and the destination? For example, if it is a LAN, it will accept a packet size of only 1500 bytes. For WAN, it may be um, higher or lower. So depending on this size of the packet that a particular network accepts it, only then, uh, then only the packet travels successfully towards the destination. Suppose if the original packet that has initiated or it, that has come from the source is higher than 1500 bytes, then this network which is accepting packets of sizes only uh, not above 1500 bytes, the packet the, that is the original packet has to get divided into smaller packets so that this network will accept. So likewise, the next network if it is able to accept a packet of uh, whatever fragmentation like it was done here, it was like it was decided that okay let the packet size be what 1500 bytes, then the next network if it is accepting 1500 bytes then it is well and good, if it is accepting le lesser than 1500 bytes then further the packet has to get uh, divided, so that is divided into smaller sizes, finally when it reaches the destination all packets that is the smaller packets we call it here as fragments all fragments reaches the destination at the destination that is at the receiver the fragments are arranged in the order so that it will be passed that particular that is it will be converted back to the original packet size and it will be transferred to it will be sent to the upper layer protocol at the receiver so this size so what exactly when we say a particular network is accepting a packet of some particular size then what is that called as it is called as maximum transfer unit and in short it is called as MTU so how much should be the MTU if you compare like see uh, in the data link layer what is the unit of transmission it is frame so frame for a frame you have the header and you have the tra trailer and this will be the word frame payload so payload is the actual data carried from the higher layer so hi this is the data link layer above is what the network layer so the network layer network layer has got what the we call the unit of transmission as datagram and the datagram consists of what the header and the payload so i can write here header payload and this is ip datagram this is the frame now whatever is the size of the ip datagram that is header plus payload put together is actually the payload in the frame and that is the maximum transfer unit mtu so if in a problem statement if it is mentioned mtu size is 1500 bytes then exactly what does it mean payload and header together should be the size that is mentioned in the problem so let us see one example this is why fragmentation is needed so in a day to day, day life also if i have to give an analogy for fragmentation it is simply like this you want to send a parcel to some other place that particular parcel office is not accepting a very huge 
weight of the parcel suppose if your parcel size is of 100 uh, kgs then they say that we are not accepting such huge sizes of parcels then what exactly you will try to do is you will try to go to the some other parcel office even they have the restriction we will not accept uh, parcels of such a huge size then finally you decide that you will divide that parcel into smaller parcels of 20 20 20 kgs you go to five different parcel office and you will send the five different parcels but all the five will reach what the same destination because you are writing the receiver's address as the same address in all the five packets finally there at the receiver side that is the destination place once all the parcels are received it will be once again put it into one single parcel consisting of all the five parcels that is 100 kg so moreover when you want to see the order of parcels there you would have written okay 100 kgs are there the first parcel is 20 kg so you will write it what first of 100 second packet of 100 then the third packet the third parcel third of 100 so on the parcel uh, this one um, you will be writing some indication so when you receive at the destination or the destination person the receiver it can see yes i have received uh, i have received 20 kgs of 100 kg or this is the first packet something first packet out of five packets yeah this will be more better so first packet of the five packet second packet of the five packet third of the five fourth packet of the five fifth packet of the five so like this if you are writing on the parcels then at the receiver side it is very easy for the person yes i have to receive totally five parcels okay each having a number on this parcel like this so it will not miss any one single parcel even if it is coming late one parcel it will wait so that it will get all the parcels correctly same way is here in the networking all the packets have to reach the destination all the fragments of the packet have to reach the destination since it is a connectionless approach here all the fragments may take different route okay to reach the destination but ultimately once even if the fragments are reaching what not in order at the receiver side it will be placed in order and it will be passed to the higher layer protocol so let us see here one example on fragmentation let us take the original packet sizes of some 4000 bytes and this packet is getting fragmented into three packets or you can say in three smaller packets or three smaller uh, fragments so each is of 1400 1400 if it is 4000 the third fragment will be of 1200 so each one of this fragment is traveling via a different network and let us assume further that this second fragment is further divided into two more fragments one of 800 if the first fragment is of 800 then definitely the second fragment in this will be 600 this is what you have to uh, fill the fields related to fragmentation for this problem statement original datagram is of 400 is divided into three fragments the middle fragment is further divided into two more fragments 800 and 1600 put the values of the fields related to fragmentation so normally you can start like this only in whatever format see the first row you are not interested to write all the uh, related fields because you are writing here the values only related to fragmentation now fragmentation you know that in the second row you have 16 bits meant for the identification three bits are there for the flag and 13 bits are for the offset so these are these things hope you remember fragmentation this is identification and out of the three fields that are there here in the flag okay if you uh, those three fields that is one bit for each this leftmost is not used whereas the next two the next two are used in this manner the second bit the second field is denoted with the letter D, okay, and the next is denoted with the letter M. D is do not fragment, okay, D stands for do not fragment, M stands for more fragment. Since one bit is meant for each of these fields, the possible values for do not fragment will be 0 and 1. Possible values for more fragment will also be 0 and 1. Field if it is 1, that means you are not going to fragment the packet should not get fragmented at all but in this case you may ask that suppose if the network is not accepting the packet of such a huge size then the packet will get dropped but it will not cross the network 
otherwise if do not fragment field is zero uh, that means the packet can be fragmented if the packet can be fragmented then only comes what these two possible values it can be zero or one they give you one example where exactly i'll tell you how to write the value for one where, when to write the value for n one in the case of m bit when to write the value of zero or one in the case of d bit now presently we are dealing with an example for fragmentation hence we are interested only in what we are interested that do not fragment bit is zero if do not fragment bit is zero we have to worry about what only the more fragment value here in the example and you have to write either zero or one 